most important messages that I can give from the research that I've done down the years is that we have to see education as investigative. It's not just a curriculum that we receive and impart, it's more about how we engage with issues of our time. So whether those are historical issues or social issues, political issues, the very act of education to me is questioning. It's not about uh, accepting a body of knowledge and simply transposing it. And I really believe that's what most teachers want. They want to be able to engage directly with the big issues. They want to be able to not just impart knowledge but to encourage children and young people to think for themselves, what we call thinking outside the box. But what's happened over the years is a narrowing and a tightening of the curriculum so that everything becomes so tightly prescribed, uh, examination oriented and so on. As a university teacher, one of the things that strikes me is how much I feel that I kind of have to de-school some of the children who come. Now, I don't blame their teachers for that. They're all top students. They've all got great A-levels, and they are all very intelligent. And they've often had excellent teachers. But one of the issues for me is they come to me in their first year and say, tell me what I need to know, and tell me what I need to write. And I'm saying, I want you to think for yourself. I want you to interpret from your readings and from your work uh, your version of events, even if I disagree with it. If it's a good, strong, qualitative argument th that I disagree with, that it doesn't necessarily chime with the textbooks, you'll still get a good mark because you're thinking for yourself, you're expressing yourself and you're developing your own body of knowledge. So for me, it's about de-institutionalizing knowledge and ensuring that we always have in our children, our young people, our students, we always have a part to play in the development of an inquiring mind.